Hello everyone, this is Lucky7DX, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold Red Nuzlocke Proton. John apparently wants to play with me. Uh, apparently that is not the case in real life, though. Sad face. Anyways, we're here in Olivine City. We have all our Pokemon. We're still sort of wounded and massively paralyzed from our journey across here, but that's okay. We're just going to continue on here anyway and see what happens. Hello there, YouTube. How's it going, boy? Why did I just treat you like a dog? I don't even know. But the gym leader isn't here. It's really his only purpose. Why do you care about the gym leader? Since when have you actually been taking the gym challenge? Don't you just go around kicking puppies and putting cat videos on the internet? I don't even know where I'm going. But we can't go to the gym here yet because she's apparently at the lighthouse taking care of sick Pokemon, which is a good thing, YouTube. Why are you so mean, YouTube? Why are you so mean? But we're going to go ahead and explore the city for a little bit. And, uh... Yes, fishing's always a good thing. Ha <laughs> ha! I got a good rod. Not that I'll ever, ever, ever use it. Because that's against the rules of this game. There's no such thing as fishing. Fishing is a lie. Fishing's always a lie. Hello. No. Creepy. K. Um. Is there anything? Anyone over here have something to give us? I kind of vaguely think there is, but I don't know where. Is it you? I think you have someone. I think you're gonna give me something, right? Yeah, give me something. Ball capsules, yes. Um, so basically, oh, a battle. Sure, let's do it. Wasn't expecting a random trainer battle in a Pokemon Center. And speaking of which, I probably should have like done it. But this basically is here to show you that like you can put special effects in your Pokeballs to make them all pretty, which is kind of cool. And this is also a fight I really don't want to do, so I'm not going to do this fight. I'm going to go switch to Kitty instead. And then Kitty is going to take, the, even though it's paralyzed. I mean, it's it's a grass type. I'll be fine. I will be more than fine. I didn't even I forgot that Kitty is at a low level compared to everyone else. Because the paralysis sort of ruined everything. But uh Flame Wheel is just gonna be like, hey, stop giving me your sweet scent blossom, that's creepy. Die, please. I think this should probably take him out. You're not you can't have a blossom at level 16, they evolve at level 21! You're a liar and a fraud! But that's okay, Proton Giant reaches level 26, and all is K with the world. So, uh, yeah, that was a thing. And do we get the seal case for this? Yes, maybe? Yes, maybe, maybe? Can you give me one? No, apparently not. Eventually, you guys, I don't remember where you get the seal case from, honestly. But eventually, we'll be able to do that. We'll be able to, like, put special effects in our balls. And that, that sounds really dirty, actually. That actually sounds really dirty. Let's not put special effects on our balls, put them on our Pokeballs instead. Um, but yeah, so in this episode we're going to explore the city, and we're going to um, see what happens from there. So, yes, that is indeed a thing. Anyways, uh, you need to be in the lead spot because you're a bit behind on levels, and is there anyone else in here who I need to train at the moment? Uh, let's go check, because you know, why not? Uh, you are 26, and you're, well, I'll, I'll train you eventually. I just don't want to do it right now, because I'm lazy. Oh, do we ever check, we never check the natures of these things. Naive and quiet. Quiet, I believe, is special attack boost, um, and speed lower. That's not a big deal. Naive is a special attack, is it special attack boost, or? It's a speed boost and special defense lowering. That's not actually bad for a Magmar. Uh, that being said, I don't really tend to use him, so, sorry. Uh, just because he can't become this. This, um, this, this, this could be... Look at, that, look at that special defense! Look at that HP! You're gonna be such a tank, but I can't use you yet because you're kind of useless as a baby. But, uh, we'll fix that someday, guys. We'll fix that someday. Someday, in the distant future, Koopa Kung Fu shall make a resurgence and take over the world. And it will be great! And also, there's a bar in here, which is kind of cool, and all, you know, just stuff and things. Oh, I want to talk to you! Stop it! Stop it! And this guy's like, oh, I'm choking! And then he dies. The end. So, just, like, little cool places in the town. Just kind of, let's do a little relaxing exploring. There's also another route over here. Uh, I'll explore that when we actually have to go that direction. There's no reason to go there now. I'm lazy. I don't feel like going there now. So too bad. We're not going there now. Uh, over here is basically a boat place, the SS Aqua, but we're not going to be able to do that yet. That, that's for later on. What do you have to say, person? I haven't I haven't been to Kanto yet. That's... Shh! Shh! Spoilers! Spoilers! Anyways. Uh, I, lo I love this couple over here, because it's like, 
Live with me, and she's like, he's exaggerating. Yeah. You guy, Mr. Guy Guy, you're a guy. That's okay, we love you anyway. Anyways, not too much else to explore here. Is a Pokemon Mart. I don't really feel like going there. Actually, wait, 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 wait. That's right. There's items over here. Let's go get them. Ah, da, da, da. Uh, you can surf. There we go. There's the surf spot. So you can actually surf over here and get items, uh, or an item. So I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm too lazy to put Repel on. We'll just cut out in the wild battles. I did turn off the code, so everything's safe. We're not going to have level 100 tentacles coming up out of nowhere right now. Which is good, because if I did, people would start dying. That's actually a really high level tentacle. Holy shit. Uh, be right back. Okay, these tentacles are actually a little scary. Uh, I have to keep that in mind. But we can hopefully make it... I really should just put a repel on. Really should have just put a repel on. Kitty gives no shits about type weaknesses. Uh, anyway. I don't think... Does Tentacle even learn a water move at that point? I don't even know. But Charge Beam, it's a TM. It does stuff. Can anyone actually learn it who's actually like... Well, Ampharos will be able to learn it for sure. Uh, Ampharos. No, you haven't evolved yet, Celine. Um, Flappy will be able to learn it, but does, the question is, do I want to teach it to it? Not really. Sith can learn it. I don't know why I would want to teach that to Sith, but he can learn it. Okay, that was actually lulzy enough to be worth showing. Um, if I get into a wild battle, I'll just cut all the way back to the shore, because this is... Yeah, I'll just meet you at the back of the other shore. Oh god! These tentacles, man! Maybe this wasn't the best idea to stay in. Ow! Pain! That was not the best idea to stay in, but that's okay, I can finish off with a flame wall right here. So, all is okay. Really, sometimes I do stupid things, and that's why my Pokemon die. But that's okay. All, all turned out fine. I'm going to switch. And on the way home, Celine. Uh, no, no, he didn't, I can't talk for shit today. But Celine leveled up, which is pretty cool. So, uh, I'm gonna go put Braille on our team. Be right back. Alright, so after that fiasco, uh,. We're gonna head to other houses, cause, you know, stuff and things. Here is actually a pretty cool place. Every 24 hours you can get more seals, but we don't have a seal case yet. So, I'm trying to remember where, I honestly don't remember where we get the seal case. In case you guys haven't noticed, unlike other projects, I'm not really like playing ahead uh, in like a practice file for this, cause it's a Nuzlocke, so I can't really practice it. Um, also, this guy wants to trade a Krabby for a Voltorb, screw you, I don't have a Krabby, nor do I want a Voltorb, so screw yo, I missed her. Uh, is there anything over here? There is something over here. Neato. Uh, so it is, it's not like blind, but it's like kind of blind, because I don't remember the details. Um, I'll look up where a seal case is in between videos. You guys don't nearly need to tell me, I'll be fine. I'm pretty sure it happens later on, though, because I do remember that, like, I was like, how do I get this seal case for, like, the longest time? Uh, nothing over here. So, for the rest of this episode, guys, we're gonna go into the lighthouse and fight some trainers, because there's actually trainers in this lighthouse. I don't think there's any wild Pokemon, so I don't need to worry about that. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's just trainers. This elevator doesn't work, right? It's a broken elevator. Is it? Um, oh, can we just, like, skip everything? No, I'm pretty sure, like, you can't get, like, outside here, there's, like, a, there's a barrier to prevent you from doing this. It's like, yeah. No? Maybe? Oh, yeah, there is, because, uh, you, we, we can't actually get through this door. Uh, we have to open from the other side, yeah. So there's where we need to get. But we need to climb up there through the magic of stairs. Because stairs are truly a magical thing. I know, right? Things you can use to go higher? Oh my god, that's like demon magic right there, man. I've never heard of such a thing. You're a trainer, aren't you? No, you're not. But uh, people are, tra there are trainers in here. So this is going to be... A one or two video endeavor here, so uh, we're gonna have to start fighting everyone. I think this guy's apparently unskippable. Oh well, I tried. Not that I would skip him anyway, I do want to fight all the trainers, because you know, part of a Pokemon P is showing off all the trainers. How could you not do that? That's just lame, you know? It's a Noctowl! Okay! You do that, Mr. Noctowl, I'm gonna burn you with my fire, because you know, I can do that. Uh, that's not even to half, wow. That's surprising, actually. 
Uh, is Ember gonna do more? Does this thing just have, like, really good physical defense? Nope, it's just that good, I guess. Uh, Nogdell's uh, actually is a pretty tanky. It's a, it's a, for a bird Pokemon, it's pretty tanky, so, uh, do keep that in mind when fighting Nogdell. But as you can see, it didn't do that much damage, so, uh, I'm okay. Kitty's gonna level up pretty soon anyway. I might as well keep her in, though, and get to level 27, though, while I'm here. So, we'll be doing that. I love how I call it her, even though it's clearly a guy Pokemon here. Just because, you know, the person who was named after is a girl. Really? Phone number's in the lighthouse? Okay, we're gonna do that, Mr. Al- What was your name? Alfred? Lovely mother! 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 Alright, that's cool. Um, hopefully I can get the choice scarf sometime soon. That'd be really nice. I would love to get that at some point. You are also a trainer, so we're gonna go ahead and fight you too. And, uh, I'm gonna see if I can get through the lighthouse in this video. That'd be cool. Uh, I just don't know if that's gonna be a thing or not. Probably won't be a thing. It's a polywag! Uh, I don't know if I want to keep Kitty in for this, actually, because, you know, polywags are kind of scary, and I'm just gonna go into here because you resist the wa incoming water move. There's no doubt there's a water move incoming. Or hypnosis. Nope, water move. So, once again, Breloom just sort of counters everything, because that's just what Breloom does. Like, I just go into Breloom, and then I use Mega Drain, and then I have all of my health back suddenly, and everything was always okay. One shot, one shot, one shot. Look at that. Breloom, seriously one of my favorite Pokemon, especially in a Nuzlocke run, because this thing just doesn't die. Uh, you're also, oh, you're a Poliwhirl, so you are you think you're so tough and scary, don't you? Uh, just for the safety, I'm just gonna go ahead and leech seed it, just in case it doesn't survive the hit and goes into hypnosis mode. But no, um, it's not gonna do that, plus I can just heal off this damage pretty easily. In fact, I'll actually heal it off with the leech seed, so... Leech seed is definitely an underrated move in the main story, it still can help a lot. Um, don't underestimate it. Granted, I probably won't keep it on Braylon at the end, but for now it's actually a pretty useful move, so I see no reason. Yeah, see? Because now I'm going to be asleep, but the Leech Seed's going to kill it in two turns anyway, so in the end, it really doesn't even matter. In fact, any damage you is probably going to get healed off by the Leech Seed, unless this kills it. No, not quite. The only problem is I'm going to be asleep, and that's rather unfortunate, so uh, tomorrow's going to be kind of sleeping on the job today. Hey now! This is rude! Don't slap my sleeping Pokemon! Oh my goodness! You are- that was double slap- oh, critical hit. Wow, you are kind of a meanie. But that's okay, because Leech Seed says screw you, and now you're dead. So, have fun with that, Mr. Guy 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 Guy. Uh, am I gonna get, like, any HP back from that at all? Apparently not. That's okay. Uh, do I have something to wake up my- actually, I do- don't I? Um, you want my number two? Okay, cool! Everyone is just so friendly in this tower. Do I have... Didn't I pick up something useful for that? Um, Didn't I pick up, like, a flute or something? Uh, no, the black flute. So, there's one that makes uh, you able to wake your Pokemon up, but that's not that one. Uh, Awakening, we'll just go ahead and use this. Because, you know, I don't want to deal with sleep turns. I don't feel like dealing with sleep turns right now. No, I refuse. I refuse. All right, you're also a trainer. That's cool. Um, I don't think there's anywhere for me to go down there, so I'm gonna just go up to the next floor and have to make our way back down there eventually. Wow, you have a lot of Pokemon, and they're probably going to be all Pidgeys. So welcome, guys, to the Roast a Pidgey episode, where we're just gonna sit here and roast Pidgeys over and over and over and over. Yep, another Pidgey. Hello! You're even weaker than the first one! What the actual heck? You're actually worse than the first Pidgey. Like, okay, cool. Did you, did you really think that that was gonna turn out any differently, Mr. Trainer Trainer? Or are you gonna be level 13 now? No, you're actually stronger than the first one. Okay, at least you're going the right direction. Oh, quick attack. Oh man, this guy thinks he's tough shit because he has quick attack. Well, it's a good thing his Pidgey's still dead. Because Pidgey has, like, no defense in the slightest. More P What the heck is this trainer? This trainer is the heck. This trainer is the heck. Just, okay, cool. Whatever floats your boat, Mr. Trainer Trainer. This one's, like, only level 15. Uh, is this one gonna be level 17? Is that the pattern we're gonna be going at? Nope, you're just level 15 as well. Okay. This was the most uneventful battle in the history of Pokemon, where all I did was use Flame Wheel five times and win. How exciting was that, Birdkeeper Theo? Don't you dare give me your number! 
I don't want your number. Good boy. Good boy. Good man. Anyway, this is where uh, things get a little interesting, actually. Uh, but first, we need to fight trainers, so you! We'll go with you first. You seem like a delightful trainer. So you're going to have to... No, I'm going to bring her back with me. Screw that sick Pokemon. I don't even care. Oh, it's a Meryl. What is with all these water types? I can't fight them with Kitty. Uh, well, that's a job for Tamal then. Because Tamal and Kitty just tag team wonder right here. Once again, Water Gun, not gonna do anything. Not gonna do a darn thing! And then I'm gonna be like, rawr, Mega Drain, and then get all of my health back, because that's just what happens. It's a shame that we don't have the buffed Giga Drain and the buffed uh, Drain Punch versions, though. I do love those. I actually lived. Roll out! That's gonna do, like, no damage, because I'm quite... <laughs> that was a critical hit, guys. Oh, man. Mock Punch. Bye-bye. <laughs> that critical hit rollout, man. That critical hit rollout. Uh, I believe grass is uh, resistant to rock anyways, and fighting definitely is. So, swagger! We got some swagger going on here. We got the moves like Jagger. With my swagger. I'm gonna stop talking like that now because it's probably really annoying. Uh, hello, Mr. Trainer Trainer. We're gonna battle you. Uh, swagger basically confuses the Pokemon, but it, uh, the enemy Pokemon, but it also raises their attack. So it's a bit of a risky move, and not something I necessarily want to do, so, uh... You weaken to me, sir. I do not approve of this message, so we're going to train Genius instead. Because why not? Why not Genius? Why not? Why not? Uh, oh man! Guess what, guys? He identified us. That's horrible! You must suffer, surf! Oh, these trainers. They're just so silly, and I love it. And that's a dead Growlithe. The end. Uh, 175, 175. And you're going to send out another Growlithe. Um, you're going to intimidate me. Yes, you are. What a meanie. I still want to give uh, Kitty some experience, though. So I, I feel safe fighting Growlithe, even though I'm at half health. It's only level 18. So we'll go ahead and just uh, keep us in. Now that we actually have our strength back to full, we can just go ahead and like use Flame Wheel and do lots of damage. I'm pretty sure a Flame Wheel, when you factor in Stab and everything, is going to do more damage than a Quick Attack would anyway. Quick Attack's really just there for when I need something really fast. Because, you know, priority moves, very useful in this game when there's something that outspeeds you. Because, you know, if you get them low enough, you can just sort of send them in, revenge kill for Quick Attack. Uh, makes your life pretty easy, so... And that should be a level up for Kitty. So, excellent. Finally level 27. Uh, nothing special? Nope. Nothing new. Sad face. You must train some more, good sir. Yes, you must. Yes, you must. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and send him on here. I think we're getting... Um, I'm hoping I can make it to the end here. Maybe let's just make this a long episode just so I get to the end. Anyway, we jump off the edge! Yes, you actually jump out the window. Because, you know, that makes perfect sense. Although, I do like this whole uh, pseudo 3D aspect here. And you get a rare candy over here, which is pretty cool. But yeah, yeah, just jump out the window. Because, you know, that's the smartest thing I have ever done, is jumped out a tower window to get to the next... That's poor tower design, when you have to jump out a window to get to the next floor. Like, that is horrendous tower design. What, are you expecting everyone who tries to climb your tower to have to jump out the window? How does that even work? How is that even a thing? I did not mean to go for Leech Seed, I meant to go for Mega Drain. For some reason, I was like, let's go for Leech Seed, because, you know, that's the smart thing to do. Whatever, not a big deal. I'll just Mega Drain this turn. Just sort of wasting time, and now we have all these afterturn effects, which is just like the worst thing in the world. But you know, that's okay. That's okay, I still love you, Tamal, even though you just want to sp I'm not gonna even say that. I was gonna say something about spreading and seeds, but no, we're gonna keep this PG-13 at least. Um, we're, we're not gonna go in that direction with the commentary. Nope, no, nada. This might be enough to pull up Tamal, though. Oh, yeah, it's a, even, it's a higher level, even. So, uh, Mega Drain! Goodbye to your Krabby! You're a crab, but I'm a mushroom thing! I don't know how that works, but that's okay, because you're dead. Hooray! Death is always a nice thing. Anyway, level 27. Uh, that's always pretty cool. So, that attack stat is huge. I love it. I love it. Anyway, you're dead. 
And I forgot to turn off my Skype, so people are going to start pinging. No, stop pinging me! Uh, actually, I'm going to take this opportunity to save if I turn my Skype while I cut, so be right back. So it's a good thing I saved, because like two battles later, my thing froze. So, good timing there, Lucky. You, you totally just saved the day by saving. So, I, I don't know, I had a gut feeling. I had a gut feeling, I was like, bad things are about to happen. I don't trust you, game. I'm going to save now. And look at that, I was right. Anyway, this guy has Spiros, but we have a penguin, and penguins have Ice Beam. It's kind of funny that the, pe the penguin actually is an ice type. I'm a little surprised by that, actually. That would make more sense. I mean, well, it's also Delibird. But who actually gives an honest crap about Delibird? Like, it's it's Delibird. No one cares. And this is a Pharaoh. It's actually faster than me, which is a little surprising. But Pharaoh's a pretty fast Pokemon. And all things considered, uh, Empoleon... I can't, I can't say the right Pokemon today. Uh, Primplup's not that fast either, so I'm not too surprised, but that's a lot of experience. Holy shenanigans. And then Spearow's like, hey, I'm a Spearow. Then I'm like, hey, have an Ice Beam. Have fun with that, Mr. 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 Spearow. Anyway, thanks for all this cutting. I have no idea where the time is on this, so I'm just going to keep going to the end of this lighthouse. And whatever happens, happens. Also, 77 HP, that's also always pretty awesome at level 27. All the sevens. It makes me so happy. We're gonna go ahead and throw Sith in here because Sith is a Pokemon that I want to use. So we're gonna head up here. Uh, we're gonna head over here. And then we're gonna go fight this. We're gonna go down the stairs because, you know, clearly when you go up ladders, the next uh, logical move is to go down them. Anyway, we're gonna go. That over there, I believe, is a photographer dude, actually, not a trainer. So uh, do not be fooled by his kind appearance. He is not. He's a. Uh, actually be fooled by his... No! His kind of appearance isn't fooling. He actually is a kind person. He doesn't want to fight you. So, yeah, go figure. Hello, Mr. Poliwhirl! I'm Death. Have fun. No, no crit. Ha! Huh. You missed your hypnosis. You fail. Good sir. Take a quick attack. Goodbye! So, yep, yeah, that's a dead Poliwhirl. And Sith is gonna level. I do like Sith. He's so... so he's such a... Absol's such a powerful Pokemon. Uh, how am I kind? I just beat your Pokemon to a bloody pulp. Anyway, hello, Cameroon, the photographer. I know I'm saying your name completely wrong, but that's because you're a photographer and you want to take pictures of me, and it's a little creepy, actually. Why do you want to take pictures of me? I know my team is really badass, but look at that badass team. It just looks too cool. But still, I don't know why you want to take all these pictures of me. Anyway, yeah, if you have running shoes on or a bike on, they'll always look at, um, if they just like sort of randomly look around, um, they'll always look in the direction you're at if they run, because you can't sneak by someone if you're running. I mean, that doesn't make sense. I mean, it'd be hard to sneak by someone if you're walking as well. This is not a fight I want to do, actually, because like fighting types against dark types are kind of a little scary, so no, not gonna do that fight. Instead, PK is gonna come in here and be like, hey guys, I'm a freaking PK, and I have the ability to blast fire in your face. So, bye, Machop. Have a fun time as you burn to death. Enjoy! Yep, that's a dead Machop. PK is going to be a huge powerhouse. Why is my phone going off right now? No! Ugh. Blah, 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 blah. Be right back. Interruptions are the, a healthy part of a balanced breakfast, guys. A balanced freaking breakfast. So, yeah, let's just go back to this interrupted trainer battle and kill a Poliwhirl because, you know... Why not? I could just go reset, I suppose, from that save point, but I really don't care. It really doesn't matter. It's just a cut. So, uh, it's another Machop! You know what that means? Another blast of fire into your face. Have a good day, sir. I like how that one, like, the one upper part of that fire blast just like, literally goes right to his face. Spinning fire to the face. Oh, that's not, that's not true. That'd be fire spin, not fire blast. <sighs> I just want to use my catchphrase. Is that too much to ask? Whatever. What's this item? I'm so curious! It's a Super Repel. You know, that's not bad, considering all things. Anyways, this is, this is the top, and this is the top. So, hello, Jasmine! How is Aladdin doing? Um, so, the, um, basically, what we need to do is we need to get a some medicine from the Cyanwood, which is the next town across the sea. We need to go, get, um, go to the pharmacy and get some medicine to heal the Ampharos. Only then will she fight us. So... That means, guys, we actually need to go to a different town. So in the next episode, guys, 
we're going to go to a different town. And that's going to be fun and exciting always. So, uh, and also we'll be able to hopefully catch some new Pokemon, I believe, because, you know, new routes and all. Um, I'll explain what I'm going to do for the next route for those of you who are wondering uh, about those all-water routes. I have an idea of what I want to do. I'll explain next video, though, guys. Uh, this video has definitely gone on long enough. So this is Lucky70X, signing out. Now I am staring at Absol's ass. Oh, goodness. <laughs> um, uh, turn around so I can just, like, not... He's looking de Okay, this has gotten dirty now. Um, yes, signing out. Next time, new routes. Bye.